This is our starter kit for remote control. We're thinking up to one tenth scale here, so we're talking cars, buggies, hard surfaces, helicopter canopies, boats, boats will need a clear coat because it's external paint, and we're also thinking planes, which also need an external clear coat. So let's just talk about the legs and bodies to start with one tenth scale, which is what this is, it's an on-road, and it's HPI. So a very slippery surface, high silicon content. So on the inside of them, to make your paint stick a lot longer and last, sand the inside with 600 grit, and that's wet and dry, except for the windows, and then give it a clean, and you'll find, instead of replacing body shield often because the paint peeled off, you'll find that the paint will stick a lot longer and the, the body shield will have to crack before you start replacing them. So there's a little hint for you. <laughs> so what do we get in this particular kit? Well, we want two guns because it's a large surface. So we've put in the Neo, 0.35 and that is capable of a hairline up to a three quarter inch fan pattern. It's got a large gravity feed cup on top which unscrews and you can replace it with a smaller one that you actually get in the kit. The cup comes off for putting your paint in, it's a dual action so it's down for air back from material. So that'll give you a detail. Comes with a spanner wrench in there for undoing um, your nozzle if you need to replace it or you're cleaning your airbrush uh, as does both of the airbrushes so now you want to paint larger areas like larger surface areas like graphics or even paint the full background so that's when the bcn comes in so neo again it's a 0.5 mil this one and it comes with a 30 mil solvent proof bottle now this is capable of a hairline, even though that's not as easy to get, right up to a one and a half inch fan pattern. Dual action again, down for air back to material. Keep this bottle and put airbrush cleaner in it. We'll explain why in a little bit in a minute. But that is your two airbrushes. So we've run this off this compressor and we've got 40 PSI continuous with both these airbrushes. You can get it to drop down a little bit lower, 30 PSI with a continuous running. And you can run it down with as low as 10 PSI, 5 PSI, whatever your requirements are. But 40 PSI with both of these will be maximum what we got. So as far as the compressor is concerned, it's a SmartJet Pro, silent jet compressor, oils, piston, no maintenance, quiet, good for inside use or in your shed. Um, so what? it's a nice compact unit with a hard case on it. It's a 1 8 horsepower. It's capable of 18 litres of air per minute and it weighs just 5.6 kilos, so it's quite light. It's got a carry handle on top and it's got an on-off switch handle on top. It's got one airbrush holder and that's on top of the case too. So with this unit, the PSI gauge is on top and there is a knob there. That is your adjustment knob for setting the PSI to the pressure in which you want the airbrush to be running at. On this end of it, it's got a moisture trap and it's got a moisture release valve underneath for any moisture that may get into that trap. There is on the end of there a quarter inch male BSB and that takes your hose. So the female BSB goes onto that particular fitting and you've got a three metre braid of hose. Now warranties, the compressor and the airbrushes, it's a one year Australian wide, wide warranty. With airbrushes, like I've said all the time, if you drop it, if you do a needle, a nozzle, scratch the surface and, and kink a needle. If you do an O-ring from soaking too long, if you soak it lying down, you will do damage to the valve. If you leave paint in it and don't clean it out properly, anything that you cause the problem with the airbrush is not covered by warranty. So what else have we put in here? We've put in two pistol grip filters because you've got two airbrushes. So that goes directly underneath the airbrush and that is the last line of defence for getting moisture out of the lead. Now the actual hose will get a couple of drops here and there of the moisture in it because heat, humidity, they cause condensation which causes moisture and gets into the hose and it will get up into your airbrush. So that will actually stop it from getting in there and that's got a release valve as such as a proper moisture trap does. Two airbrushes, so we put in a disconnect set. Now with a disconnect set, the male goes directly to the moisture filter and the female goes up onto the hose, which allows you to now disconnect your hose for whenever you want to release your airbrush and maybe even swap airbrushes. So we've also put in an extra male. The extra male goes onto your other airbrush. So you've now got two disconnect situations where you can swap your airbrushes on the fly or disconnect them for whatever purposes you need. So what else? Well, you need to clean it out. So we've got the cleaning station for my water glass jar. I'm good to clean the jar out afterwards. And for cleaning your airbrush, 
little bit of airbrush cleaner through the airbrush into the glass jar and that allows all your overspray and paint to go into the jar instead of over your work surface or over the items in which you're painting which is undesirable. So now we get onto the paint side of it and with the paints you're going to need to reduce the paints. We reduce by around about 20-25% with high performance reducer. For that purpose we put in a 240ml of that. We've also put in a 240ml of the airbrush cleaner. You would use that in between colour changes. And like I said, for the DCN, if you put some in that 30ml bottle, that allows you to squirt your airbrush out clean in between colour changes. Um, and even at the end of the day, but uh, if you have to go away and you know you take a phone call or whatever, you can give your airbrush a quick clean out, come back and it will still be working. So that is what they're designed for. So as far as the paints are concerned, well, we've put in the Wicked Primary Set 1, you get five base colours. After two coats, you'll probably get saturation or roundabout saturation, so they're opaques, and you get a 60 mil of reducer. So we'll talk about that one a little bit in a minute. They're 60 mil. The fluoro colours, they're also 60 mil. You get fluoro wicked green, wicked yellow, pink, orange, and the last one is purple. For a little bit of bling, because we know that you want to put pearls down, that sort of thing, so we've got wicked pearl white, these are all 60 mil, pearl black, pearl yellow, pearl red, and then pearl blue. And it gives you a good base range of colours to, to create your masterpieces. So backing off the paints, so what do we need to back them off for? Well, first of all, you need to back them off with the colour so you get the colour saturation that you require from the inside, otherwise they'll all be transparent. So over your lighter colours, Auto Born Seal of White, that's a 120 mil, you're gonna need that for the one tenth. Even though you won't use all of it, you still need more than 60 mil. So that'll back off all your colour. On the darker colours, if you're using dark colours, you can use the seal of black, and that's 120mm. You look in the sealers on the website, Autoborn sealers, there's another 11 colours, which allows you to pick colours which go beneath other colours. So if you were doing just a red, you would pick Autoborn seal red, and you could back it off with that, and that would give you a colour that would be nice and seamless. So that is your colours that you get with this particular kit. We've also put in this kit some bottle adapters, or known as fast glass lids. Now we put a total of 18 of them in because that's in 60 mil sizes and 120 mil sizes you'll get one for every bottle there which means on the BCN you can change your colours on the fly because realistically with the BCN you're going to be painting graphics and full background so you're going to be using larger volumes of paint. So as far as the, the bottles are concerned take the cap off, put this one on and you cut the tube to suit the height of the bottle and that will give you what you need for all your colour changes. A little bit about colours, Lexan bodies, they will take Wicked colours, Autoway colours, Createx illustration colours and the Autoborn colours on the website. All of those are compatible to each other, you can mix custom mixes out of all the ranges by mixing them together. The Createx colours, they're not designed for Lexan, okay? So that's what you get there. Now we've got a clear shell here, so we're going to do a design. So what else do you need? Well we've put in the, uh, the V-Tape, which is a 1 16th size, it's 50 metres on a roll. It'll go around a five cent piece, so that'll give you access to masking out your designs. So it is quite thin, so you need to now back mask your design. So we put also the quarter inch green, so it's a 3M, it's an automotive tape, it's a quarter inch, it's 55 metres on a roll, and you would then back that off by over half of the volume of that. You can even use that to mask up your design if you want. So then what are we looking at? We need to mask up the background. So Auto mask, what a product this is. You can use this, it's a paper adhesive, so you can draw on it, put it in there, hand cut your design out, spray it in, and then you can put your, your, your masking section back in, peel out another piece like Frisket, paint that in, or you can use it to mask out the background, inexpensive. This is um, 100 mil wide, and there's 91 meters on a roll. So all these paints, they're water-based base coats, uh, automotive grade pigment, Wash them out, like I said, with water to start with, then a final rinse with the high performance reducer to get the pigment out. And that takes in the starter kit, which gives you everything you need to get going, paint some awesome shells. Here are some examples of some shells that have been painted by Airbrush Megastores customers. As you can see, they're fantastic. Everything up from novice all the way to some professional outfits here. But did you know that as far as paints are concerned, 
You can use anything on the RC shells from Autoair colours, from Wicked colours, from Createx Illustration colours, the Candy 2Os and the Autoborn sealers. So there's a colour range that you can use in which these body shells have been created with. They're not anybody else's colours. This is the colour ranges in which we've given you here and that are subject to these kits. So here's some more footage. Go grab yourself some paints, grab this kit and get out there and start painting some shells. And don't forget to send us an email of your shells. We want to see them.